This tutorial goes over how to calibrate the RetroTINK 4K to play PlayStation games on PS2 hardware. As with other tutorials in this series, the RetroTINK 4K is an advanced scaler and you should read up on more information to learn how to use it. I'm linking the PlayStation 2 section of the RetroTINK 4K wiki so you can read on. This tutorial should apply to all PS2 consoles. You can follow along as long as you are using Enhanced S Video, YPBPR, or RGB inputs. First, head into the Sample Rate Detection menu. Turn Auto Decimation Factor and Auto Decimation Phase on. Go down to ADC Sample Rate and change that to 3,432 dots per line. Make your way down to Progressive Detection and turn on all sample rates. The PlayStation 2 uses all of these sample rates. If you have access to games with interlaced output, follow the same instructions. Turn on Auto Decimation Factor and Auto Decimation Phase. Make the ADC sample rate 3,432. Turn on all sample rates. PlayStation games will switch resolutions depending on what is happening in the screen. The RetroTINK 4K will automatically select the resolution that gives the sharpest picture. If you are using SCART or enhanced S-Video cables, find a patch of pure white on your screen and hit the gain button on your remote. This should calibrate your color for your consoles. You will need to use SMPTE or EBU color bars for component video. Now that you've done this, there may be issues where certain games will cause the automatic sample rate detection to misfire and swap between two resolutions. There are a few settings to try on the RetroTINK 4K to fix this issue. Make your way to the RGB component ADC setup menu. The two settings to try to change are the anti-alias LPF and the SOG threshold. Adjust these until you find something stable for you. Alternatively, you may need to do some homework on the resolutions your game library supports. I've linked a growing list of PS1 games and the resolutions they use in the description. Check this list and go into the Sample Rate Detection menu. Turn on any sample rates that you do use and turn off any sample rates you don't use. You may need to do this on a per game basis. If you have any games that switch between vertical resolutions, go to your HDMI output menu by pressing the out button on the remote and make sure your sync lock is set to triple. This ensures a smooth transition between resolutions. You've now calibrated your RetroTINK 4K to play PS1 games on PS2. Enjoy your games.